Hello there, welcome to this video by TrumpExcel.com. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I'm going to show you how to highlight entire rows in Excel based on the cell value in it. So let's get started. Here I have this data set and what I want to do is I want to highlight all the rows where the sales rep name is Bob. Now to do that I'm going to use conditional formatting. So let me first select this entire data set. I would go to the home tab and here I have conditional formatting. When I click on it, it gives me all these options and I'm going to click on new rule. And this op opens the new formatting rule uh, dialog box. Now in this case, I'm going to use this option which is use a formula to determine which cells to format. So this allows me to give it a formula and then that formula is going to be used to evaluate these cells and identify whether the cells should be highlighted or not. Now, the way conditional formatting works is that this formula is evaluated for each cell and if the formula returns true for that cell, then it gets highlighted or formatted with, with whatever format I'm going to specify here and if the formula returns false, then the cell doesn't get highlighted. So in this case, let me type the formula and the formula in this case would be based on this column because I want to identify all the rows where the sales rep name is Bob. So I would use a dollar C2 is equal to Bob and the Bob is in double quotes because this is text. Now I'm going to specify the format here. So when I click on format, it opens this format cells dialog box and let me choose this color with which I'm going to highlight the rows. And now when I click OK, it is going to highlight all the rows which has the name Bob in it. Now let me quickly explain how this works. When I use this formula, all the cells are evaluated against this formula. So let's say it is cell A2, then A2 is evaluated based on whether the name in the same row is Bob or not. Why? Because I have locked the column here. So when I add a dollar sign before a column alphabet or before the row number, then that column gets locked. So for all the cells in this row, only this column cell would be evaluated because I have locked this column. So for A2, it would check whether C2 is equal to Bob or not. For B2, it is going to check whether C2 is equal to Bob or not. And the same for all these cells. Now when it comes down, for A3, it is going to check whether C3 is equal to Bob or not. And the same for all the cells in the row. And the same goes for all these cells. So if the name is Bob, then the entire row gets highlighted because all the cells in the same row are going to return true. So see what happens when I click OK it highlights all the cells where the sales rep name is Bob. Now you can do the same thing with values as well. So in this case, let's say I want to highlight all uh, the rows where the quantity sold is more than 15, which is in column D. So I would select this entire data set. I would go to conditional formatting, new rule. I would select use a formula option. And here I would type the formula, which would be equal to $D2 is greater than 15 because I want all the cells, all the rows where the quantity is more than 15. So I would go to format. You can choose any color. I'm choosing this one. Click OK, click OK. And instantly it highlights all the rows where the quantity is more than 15. You can also do this with the date part. So in this case, let's say you want to highlight all the rows where the date is more than uh, 15th July, uh, then you can do that. Uh, it will not make a lot of sense in this data set because this is sorted in an ascending order. But in case you have a data set where you want to, let's say, identify uh, any if all the events or the dates that are after a particular event, then you can do this. So let me show you how to do this. I would press Control Z to remove the applied conditional formatting. Go to conditional formatting, new rule come here and in this case I would use uh, column A so I would use dollar A2 is greater than and I would have to use the date formula and I, I have to specify the date that I want uh, and I want to highlight all the dates which are greater than this date so it would be 2019 which is the year because date formula takes three arguments the year the month and the day so the month would be 7 which is July and the date would be let's say 15 and now when I go to format and I highlight it, let's say blue, click OK, click OK. And you can see all these cells, all these rows get highlighted because the date here is more than 15th July. Now you can use multiple conditions as well. So let's say, for example, you want to highlight all uh, the rows where the sales rep name is Bob and the sale quantity is more than 15. So I would again select this entire thing, go to conditional formatting, new rule 
select user formula and here instead of one formula I would use a combination of formulas so I would use the AND formula now remember you can only use a formula here that either returns a true or a false and based on that these cells are getting highlighted and because AND formula returns true or false based on the conditions this is going to work the first condition that I want to evaluate is whether the sales rep name is Bob or not so I would use dollar C2 is equal to Bob in uh, bracket in uh, double quotes and then the second condition would be whether the quantity is greater than 15 or not so I would use dollar D2 is greater than 15 I close the bracket I come here apply the format let's say this color and I click OK and as soon as I do this you can see it highlights these two rows because in both these rows the name is Bob and the quantity is more than 15 now one more thing that you should know is that conditional formatting is dynamic so for example if I come here and I change the quantity to 13 and hit enter it is going to remove the highlight because as soon as any change is made conditional formatting is reevaluated and based on it the formatting is again applied or removed so for example let's say if I come here and I make this 16 then it gets highlighted because now this uh, satisfies both the conditions which is the name is Bob and the quantity is more than 15. You can also um, highlight in multiple colors so let's say for example I want to highlight all the quantities that are more than 15 in green color and all the quantities that are more than 10 in yellow color so I would first come here select this entire data set go to conditional formatting new rule again use a formula and in this case I would use the formula dollar sorry dollar d2 is greater than 15 and I would apply the green color here so let's say this color now when I click OK you instantly see that these are the rows where the quantity is more than 15 now I'm going to apply the second condition here because there are two conditions so there would be uh, two different colors and they, this would be applied using two different conditions so I would again go to new rule and here again I would use a formula and in this case the condition would be dollar d2 is greater than 10 and the format in this case would be yellow and see what happens as soon as I click OK all these cells become yellow that are more than 10 now the green color is gone and that's because any cell that is more than 15 is also more than 10 so uh, the yellow uh, condition is actually superseding the green one and we can change this so I would click on uh, conditional formatting go to manage rules and in this case you can see this is the order of conditions now in this case the condition that is at the top would get precedence over the condition which is at the bottom so in this case I can change this I would select this one and I would click on this upward pointing uh, icon so as soon as I click on it now this conditions becomes the one that takes precedence so any cell let's say uh, this one here which is 18 this is evaluated both these conditions are true but because this condition is at the top this format is applied and then the, let's say this cell here 13 it is again checked this condition is not true but this condition is true so the uh, yellow color is applied now see what happens when I click, click on apply it would now give me these green colored rows as well as the yellow colored rows so you can use multiple conditional formattings conditions in uh, the same data set but you need to remember the order of precedence now you can also use this to highlight blank cells so in this case I have these blank cells here I have this blank this blank uh, maybe this is because of data entry whatever the reason maybe you are getting the data from somewhere where there are blank cells and you quickly want to highlight the rows that have these blank cells you can also do this with conditional formatting so I would come here go to new rule use a formula and in this case I am going to use the count if formula where I am going to use dollar a2 is to dollar f2 because I am going to check for this row and I would check whether the number of blank cells here is greater than zero so my condition is within count if the range is a2 to f2 where I have locked the column number so that when I go down the row it would still remain the same range and I'm checking whether there are blank cells in it or not and if there are then this would, would return true and if there are no blank cells then this would return false so I come here format use this color click OK click OK and instantly it would highlight all the rows where there are blank cells
now uh, you can also make this dynamic so in this case I have this drop down here with the name of all these sales rep and I want this to be dynamic so that as soon as I select a name then all the rows with that name get highlighted so I would select this entire data set and all I need to do is uh, tweak the formula a little bit and the formula is going to be very very easy in this case my sales rep uh, names are in column E so I would use dollar E and I would simply say this should be sorry dollar E2 and this should be equal to this cell here which is dollar A dollar 2 now in this case I have to lock both row and column number for this one because for all of these cells it needs to be evaluated against this single cell so this is locked no matter where the cursor goes and where the what cells are evaluated this is not going to change now I can apply the color here and you can apply many different kinds of formatting it's not just fill you can apply border you can change the font you can apply number formatting you can apply any kind of formatting I'm just keeping it to uh, the fill color I would click OK and as soon as I click OK you can see all the rows where the name is mark gets highlighted but now if I come here and I change this to let's say Stacy then all the cells all the rows with the name Stacy get highlighted so this can be really good if you are creating reports or you are creating dashboards where you want the user to have this uh, facility or this flexibility to select a name and highlight the rows then you can do that as well and I have chosen a very simple example but you can also have multiple conditions so for example you can also have uh, the name is Stacy and the quantity is uh, more than 15 or more than 10 then you can also use multiple Multiple conditions all you would have to do is use an AND condition within conditional formatting so these are a simple conditional formatting formulas that you can use to evaluate the value in the cell and then highlight the entire row based on it that's it in this video I hope you found this useful also if you would like to get more Excel tips videos from me then please subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you and have a nice day